Science fiction is a beloved genre for many reasons, but largely because it allows the audience to dive into some of their wildest fantasies when it comes to the endless possibilities advanced technology could produce. And of course, it's grounded in physics. Gay realism. This also includes technologically advanced weaponry, much of which we get to enjoy in video games. Over the years, there's been many a game to craft up a weapon that appeals to our insatiable hunger for sci fi, but some have been more memorable and more fun than others. So today, we're counting down the top 10 sci fi weapons in video games. In at number 10, The Fat Man from Fallout. Starting off this list with a gun that hinges on reality, The Fat Man from Fallout gives players the power of a portable nuclear bomb in their hands. The Fat Man is actually the reason why Fallout 3 was almost banned in Japan and had to be edited. They ended up renaming it to the Nuka Launcher due to its similarities that it shared with the bomb dropped on Hiroshima during World War II. Firing mini nukes, The Fat Man has an estimated range of around 150 yards and causes its blast zone to be irradiated for a short time after the detonation. In at number 9, The Chainsaw Lance from Gears of War. What's one way to subvert a shooter game? Replace the bayonet on an assault rifle with a chainsaw. The 2006 game Gears of War is a military sci fi third person shooter that follows the troops of Delta Squad as they try to save the remaining humans living on a planet called Sarah from a genocidal subterranean foe called the Locust Horde. It makes for a deliciously fun weapon that you can use to hack and slash your way through enemies without having to sacrifice long range. And at number 8, the Plasma Cutter from Dead Space. There's three kinds of plasma cutters you can get your hands on in Dead Space. According to the game, Game, plasma cutters were intended to be tools to help engineers, but upon the appearance of necromorphs, the plasma cutters became invaluable for dismembering them from a distance. There's three different kinds of plasma cutters you can get your hands on in Dead Space, and all of them are ridiculously fun and ridiculously useful. And at number 7, the Hyper Beam from Super Metroid. The Hyper Beam is excessively strong. Samus comes about it during the battle with Mother Brain after the baby Metroid is killed and explodes all over her power suit. The beams that shoot out of it can pass through walls and enemies, and pretty much destroys anything you fire at with rainbow colors to boot. Up next, number 6, the Farsight XR20 from Perfect Dark. A weapon that makes killing your enemies incredibly easy, the Farsight XR20 is the epitome OP gun. It allows you to see through walls to aim and shoot to take down your opponents. There's literally no such thing as a physical obstacle when it comes to using this railgun. Plus, it can kill in one shot, and has the precision of a sniper rifle. And at number 5, the Shrink Ray from Duke Nukem. Venturing into some classic science fiction here, the Shrink Ray in Duke Nukem shrinks your opponents down to tiny creatures that you can step on and kill in one shot. It's fun, effective, and your shrunken enemies are 10 times weaker to weapons than they normally are. And at number 4, the Omni Tool from the Mass Effect series. The Omni Tool is like Mass Effect's Swiss Army Knife. Not only is it a substantial melee weapon, but it also does things like dispense medigel, open doors, hack into vaults, scan computers, the list goes on. It's got a computer microframe, a sensor analysis pack, and a manufacturing fabricator. In other words, it's your all in one go to tool. It also lets you play a video game called Galaxy of Fantasy, and that's pretty darn cool. From versatile technological advancements to a gun that is pure indulgence, in at number 3 we have the BFG 9000 from the Doom series. The BFG is a big plasma gun that is considered to be the most powerful weapon in the series, shooting massive balls of green plasma when fired at your foes, vaporizing them upon impact if they aren't bosses. In our number 2 spot, the Portal Gun from Portal. The Aperture Science handheld portal device, also known as a portal gun, is a tool that allows you to open two portals that objects and you can pass through. It's a simple concept that Valve incorporated into one of the smartest sci-fi tools in gaming, breaking the mold for what players expected of a puzzle game, and expanding the limits of what players could do when it came to problem solving. Speaking of Valve, let's take a look at one of their other creations, the Gravity Gun from Half-Life 2. While the Portal Gun was a unique way to solve puzzles, the Gravity Gun lets players get more on the offensive side, while still leaving space for creativity. Also known as the Zero Point Energy Field Manipulator, it was originally designed for handling hazardous materials in the world of the game, and then was used for lifting heavy objects and and then as a weapon in the hands of Gordon Freeman. It served a purpose more than just chucking watermelons, saw blades, and explosives at opponents though. It could also pick up other useful items. And towards the end of the game, you could even toss guards around. And pure energy, which would disintegrate your foes. From shooting energy blasts to picking up whatever their hearts desired, the gravity gun made for a versatile and incredibly enjoyable weapon in players' arsenals. Alright, there we have it friends. Do you agree with our picks? If not, which weapon do you think deserves the top spot? Let us know in those comments below. And if you dug this video, please show us some love and hit those like and subscribe buttons. And why not check out one of our other videos from our recent uploads playlist flashing up on your screen right now. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I've been Kelly Pally and this has been Top 10 Gaming. Catch you all in the next one.